Good morning, everybody. I am Naga Jyoti. I came from Government Polytechnic, Parvathipuram. Today, I am going to say about how to calculate acceleration due to gravity using a simple pendulum. Before that, we need to know what is a simple harmonic motion. So, a simple harmonic motion is the motion of a body such that its acceleration is always directed towards a fixed point and acceleration is proportional to displacement but in the opposite direction. So, the conditions of simple harmonic motion are it should be periodic motion that is the motion should repeat in regular intervals of time and it should be to and fro motion. Next the acceleration and displacement should be opposite to each other and the restoring force acting on the body should also be proportional to the displacement. Now coming to the examples for simple harmonic motion are the motion of simple pendulum, the oscillations of simple pendulum and torsional pendulum, vibrations of violin string etc. Now what is a simple pendulum? So a simple pendulum is a, a metal bob suspended by a light inextensible string is nothing but a simple pendulum. Now the apparatus required for performing the experiment are a metal bob, a split cork, a retort stand, a meter scale, vernier calipers, etc. Now um, for starting the experiment, uh, take a split cork and to the one end of the split cork tie a string and to the other end of the string tie the metal bob and fix it to the retort stand. Now, from the uh, bottom edge of the uh, rubber cork to the middle of the bob is the length of the pendulum L and take a um, pull aside the metal bob with small amplitude. Now the bob makes oscillations. Now take a stop clock and take uh, time for 20 oscillations, count the time for 20 oscillations. Now it will give the time period. Now calculate the time period for one oscillation that is t is equal to small t by 20 and um, calculate the time period that is t square in second square and find the average value of L by t square and now substitute in the formula that is acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 4 pi square into L by t square. So now the acceleration we are finding the acceleration so the acceleration is nothing but the acceleration acquired by a freely falling body due to the influence of force of gravity.